Welcome back to Geth and Christian's channel. Nice to have you all with me again. And I'm surprisingly sober tonight. I've taken this review on a little earlier than usual for a variety of reasons. But tonight we've got something, and I always say it, a little bit special, a bit different. But this time it is. And look at this box. Should tell you all you need to know. If you know, it's a, a Seiko box, but not the usual one. Uh, so let's open him up. Have a look inside, shall we? Look at that. Tonight we have a Seiko Prospects Save the Ocean special edition watch. Uh, lent in to me by my good friend, again, Mr. June, who has purchased this watch. And there's an interesting story surrounding the purchase of this watch, which I'll tell you about now. Uh, Mr. June was in the market for a black SRP777, the original uh, Turtle re-release from 2015. And he found one for £284, which was a steal, on a company called Watch-O. Uh, normally they sell for about 300 to 350 those ones, a bit like my 773 blue dial from 2015 and he bought the watch for 284 pounds which was a great deal and when it arrived he opened it up and this is what he had they'd sent him the wrong watch and what he got was a 550 pound Seiko Save the Ocean King Turtle SRPE 39k the manta ray, uh, you know, quite an expensive watch, and so he did, he, it's just unbelievable, they fucked up, they must be completely retarded, so I can recommend all of you buy a watch from Watch-O, uh, a cheap one, and they'll probably send you something much more expensive and have no idea what they've done. So, without further ado, and you can see I've got this on a Crafted Blue strap, and I'll explain that later, but let's take him off the cushion for a closer look, as we always do on Gethin's channel. So look at this. It's, well, I don't know. What do you think about it? Let's start off with the boring stuff, the specs, and tonight we've got this lovely King Turtle with its 4R36A movement. Uh, the 4R36 is uh, the... Movement with the day date complication. 4R35 comes with a date only. 36 with the day as well. Beating away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. 3 hertz as most lower end Seikos do. Hacking and hand winding is featured. Uh, at 24 joules and a 41 hour power reserve. Seiko's stated tolerances of plus 45 to minus 35 seconds a day. Which is quite bad but uh, this one and this one isn't great either because it's doing plus 14 on average according to Mr. June which isn't great quite disappointing but is within the specs uh, just a reminder to you all that you can be lucky or unlucky with these Seiko watches this lots of these come and they, they're within cost uh, specs but this one Certainly is not. It's about plus 14. It's not that bad, but it is quite disappointing. But considering he paid £284 for it, uh, <laughs> he's done pretty well. I think we'll all agree. The case um, has a thickness of 13.2 millimetres, a diameter of 45, it's about 44.8, and a lug to lug of 47.7 millimetres. So a very short lug to lug. Everybody knows the turtle. Massive, but it's short, and so you can wear it on the skinniest of nadgastics, even my pathetic skeletal wrist, uh, about 7.2 inches, can accommodate him. If you can wear one of these, then you can certainly wear one of these. That's how I would like to explain it. If you've never had, if you're worried about the size of this, if you could wear an SKX, you can definitely wear this. Uh, it wears much smaller than it is. Uh, this one is got, of course, a lovely 
sapphire crystal with an internal AR coating and lumibrite compound from Seiko on all hands and indices and in the bezel in this lovely loom pip which is saluted by me. Uh, it's a 200 meters of water resistance ISO certified diver and on its bracelet which I haven't included it weighs 198 grams. Yeah, special, well, it's a special edition and look it's still got the sticker on I mean there you go special edition this is a 2022-9, what's that, that's uh, what is that, September, I mean it's really new, and it's, it even says stainless steel sapphire crystal, and 4R36 there, so, absolutely proper, no one else uh, that I know of can make such a large case where so small it's quite quite an achievement um that seiko only seiko seems to be able to do it's a, it's a hugely wide watch but it fits on almost any wrist um but yes it it's a polarizing watch this one i mean initially i felt definitely it wasn't for me uh it's it's incredibly vivid i think and maybe a little bit sort of desperate for attention in a way but it's quite compelling I think it's got a lot once you get it in hand it, look at that dial I mean look at it very compelling and with a blue rubber strap on it actually looks you know I think it looks the part it really does but uh, the dial I mean it's a sight to be seen. Rich uh, blueness fading away to black at the edges uh, with a beautiful texture to it. Look at it, it's like the, look at that. Absolutely amazing, it really looks like water. A beautiful texture and sort of resembles the, the ripples of a, of a calm ocean, which of course it is. Um, I find myself tilting it back and forth. You know, look at it. You can see the little rays. We haven't talked about them, but yeah. You will be tilting it back and forth, trying to get a better view of the four manta rays. So that sort of float in this marine void. Uh, it's, it's extremely compelling, as I, as I said. In this sort of degradé style. Dial. American people call it fumé, but I, I don't like that. I like the French description. It sort of fades away to black, and it's very subtly done. Uh, they're not, and the, the these rays—they're not in your face at all. You don't really notice them in daylight. You won't see them outside. They're just there, and you, they just pop in and out there. Look at that. Let me have a quick sip of my bud. Absolutely proper. So yes, the case. The case of this watch is well known. And it's great. It's very tactile. You just, the way it feels, it you just want to touch it. It's sort of soft and there's no sharp angles at all anywhere. And Seiko's sublime finishing. Uh, expertise is featured on the dot on the case as as always at least and you know the bracelet is it's crap I mean it really is it's a terrible bracelet that comes with this watch uh, same like the SKX and other cheaper Seikos it just doesn't match the watch at all it's so bad I'm not even going to include it in the video I'm sure if you want to see it, you've seen it before, and you can see it any way you want. But I'm not putting it on this watch because it just ruins it. Uh, so I put it on this lovely Crafter Blue strap. And my, my one here, which I'll take off the cushion for a closer look, is on a strap code Hexad, which this one came on, but I swapped them over. And that's a much better bracelet than you're going to get with the 
with the real deal. Uh, it has a lovely transitional, you know, transition from the, the polish, this concentric brushing here, down to polish, all polished sides with a sort of scalloped finish, which makes it very comfortable to wear. Drilled lugs and a lovely countersunk, uh, non-signed, screw-down crown. Um, it's it's just it's just such a nice watch to wear and look at. Uh, screw down case back, polished on the case back, and this sticker still on, but this is brushed here, and the tsunami, of course, is featured in exactly the same way as this original. The upgrades on this King Turtle. What you'll get for your money, if you bought it for real money, not like Mr. June did, you will get a thicker bezel with improved uh, knurling, much nicer, improved bezel action. Listen to that, very nice. Much easier to grip. I will demonstrate with my older version. This is mine from 2015, and this is this is a 2015 December. It's quite old now, but you know it is night and day. Absolutely crap. This one is this one far better, far better. I mean, it's very smooth, detent. It's very nice. Feels great. Grip is great. And of course, look what is this? A ceramic insert. This one features an aluminium insert. Nothing wrong with it, but here we have a step up ceramic. Uh, zirconia sort of ceramic. Um, and of course, so there's a sapphire crystal here replacing the hard legs of the lesser turtle, also featuring internal AR coating. You can, I mean, it's difficult here, but you can really tell this one is 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 far better at deflecting light. Um, and it makes a noticeable difference. And for me, the downside is the addition of this awful Cyclops, which isn't even on that straight, and is far too big for the ap aperture here. And you get this horrible gap at the top and the bottom and it just looks crap. This look, it just looks so much better without it. You don't need it. What are you blind? You can't read the date. Uh, it just spoils the watch completely. But unfortunate, you can remove these if you wish. Uh, and I, I do know that many people probably do like it. I don't like it. The spectre of misalignment has left its ugly mark again upon this otherwise exceptionally executed dial. Unfortunate though it may be, on a 550 pound watch, I've seen the same disgusting lack of attention to detail on Seiko's in the 1,000 pound plus uh, range, the 6R models suffer from the same thing. You might get a good one. I mean, mine was shit in, in the first instance here. It's, it's off to the right. This one's off to the left. 550 quid, I'd be pretty pissed off. But that's what Seiko does. It beggars belief. We all know the deal. And we still buy them, regardless. At least we know it's not fake. Because the fakes are probably better aligned. Um... And, you know, I love the watch, so I'm going to put him on, put him on my Skeletor Nagda stack. And thank you, Mr. June, for lending this in. There we go. It is very, very pretty, just not on the bracelet. And there are many ways you can improve it with different straps and bracelets. Uh, I'll take off my... Lovely SKX, which is also on a craft of blue, uh, which is strap good. And we'll slap on my one. Hexad 
very nice we've seen them before on the channel this is the turtle one very nice upgrade so we've got them both here a great pair of twerps uh, and finally we can do a loom shot so everybody likes to see that I know that we all like a bit of loom on a Friday night so uh, bastard get on there so let's charge them up a bit now this is from 2015 and it's been used a lot the Luma Bright Compound, I mean what else is different? I mean there's nothing else different you will get exactly the same handset, polished hands printed uh, Seiko and automatic X divers 200 meters and the uh, this one actually yeah this one has faux applied indices I mean I, don't, I think they're stamped though I polished around the frame Loom application is comparable. Let's charge them up. And let's get a look at them with the lights off. I mean, that's actually quite... That's quite strange. I would say my old one looks a bit better. What do you guys think? The fuck do you think about it? What do you think, Terence? Paul? What do you guys think? Inspector? Tell me what you think. Anyway. There we go. End of the show for tonight. One last look at that. And look at that. Just look. Not really for me. But I can totally appreciate its appeal. Of course, there's many variants of this Save the Ocean. There's, I think there's four generations of it. All good. And that's it for tonight, guys. Thanks for watching. Not sure when the next one's coming, because there's no money in the pot for twerps. But something will pop up. And when it does, Gethin will be back to review it. Stay freaky, bros, and never give up.